Hey folks, I have some pretty dope news for you. So I have been giving away, what was it? Five Arena Breakout Infinite Keys. And somebody whispered that there might be more coming along the way. I cannot commit to that, but definitely it would help if you like this video, if you subscribe to my channel, because then I can go to the development team and tell them that, hey guys, there's a big interest, so give me the keys, give me the keys. Not the car keys, the Arena Breakout Infinite Beta Keys. So that's it for the keys, but actually in this video, I wanna highlight five, five major differences. Why am I doing that? Because not everybody has access to both mobile and PC. For mobile players, I have to tell you that don't let the maps the features and every similarity you see trick your brain because the PC version is just completely different, okay? The map is the same, yes, but the game is completely different. And this is why actually many of the big names from uh, mobile are suffering on PC. It's not just because of the controls, also that because they are mobile players, but it's a different game. If you are a PC player and you have never played with Arena Breakout Mobile, let's assume you come from Escape from Tarkov, Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever it is, you are going to benefit from all of that experience you have. Because at the end of the day, this is just yet another FPS game, but it's very special. I think it's going to be the best FPS game ever on PC. But anyway, circling back, so you're definitely going to have a disadvantage at the beginning against those mobile players who also play on PC because they know the maps, they know the weapons, they know the items, they know the prices, they kind of know everything about the game and, and the nice spots and, and basically the whole mechanics of the game. Don't be upset because you're going to close that gap within a month or two and to support your personal growth absolutely subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay tuned for the upcoming arena breakout infinite guides tutorials gameplay and such because you're just gonna learn from it you can also check everything i have already published for arena breakout mobile because most of the guys the tutorials are gonna apply for the infinite pc version as well all right enough about talking let's check the five biggest differences between mobile and pc the first one is sound prints and guys you cannot even imagine how big how significant that difference is so on mobile if you are crouching if you are doing anything and you have enemies near they're gonna hear you and not just hear you they're gonna visually see that somebody is around on the pc version you don't have that and sometimes i even need to turn around to check if that noise or steps are coming from my teammate. It's completely different. It's much more hardcore, but personally, if I had to choose between the two, I would go without sound prints. It's just giving you a different type of feeling and it also makes it harder to master the game. On mobile, after you understand the different type of sound prints, I think it's getting slightly easier especially because you see on which floor the enemy is and such but this is number one difference on pc no sound prints on mobile we have them but as we heard from that interview i stream had with the devs there might be a game mode on the mobile version where we're gonna have no sound prints the second huge difference is scopes zooming hold breath and all kind of stuff so on a mobile, if you zoom, then kind of you zoom, like your whole screen zooms in, right? On PC, that's different because within your scope, you're going to have a picture within the picture. And only that small picture inside your scope is going to be scope. And that makes it different. It makes it harder to be honest and maybe i'm just saying that because i'm used to the mobile version but i think it's harder because you just see a tiny bit of your screen being zoomed in which means that surrounding of that no you're not gonna see that and on pc we have a feature called hold breath you need to use that while you zoom you kind of stand still and your crosshair in that case it's not gonna move but if you don't use that 
then you're gonna see a slightly movement. So that's again completely different. And also some of the scopes in the PC version, they just work differently. The biggest difference is between mobile and PC. Number three is the recoil or the weapons or how the weapons work. But let's stick to the recoil. It's really, no, it's extremely hard to explain that. You actually have to try yourself to sense the difference between mobile and PC. So if you are watching one of your creators playing the PC version now, then don't spam the chat saying that your recall is, is terrible. On the PC version, it's incredibly hard to master the weapons. And I was actually thinking that I'm going to focus more on the weapons where I can one tap instead of trying or attempting to learn the spray. Because if you start spraying enemies, then th this is what happens. Like, 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 like actually on mobile, I'm not saying that it's easy for some of the weapons. It's hard or the fall or FAR, but on PC version, it's just like almost impossible. And to give you some reference, which I can personally not confirm because I have not been playing Escape from Tarkov, but Yusef said that the recoil in Arena Breakout Infinite is similar to the old recoil what we had in Escape from Tarkov. I'm not sure if that makes sense. I guess it has been changed over the time and it has been made easier to control. But there you go. If you played Escape from Tarkov old version, then you kind of get a sense of what this is. The fourth big difference between PC and mobile is the graphics. And don't take it as I say it. Like, of course the graphics is different. But due to the fact that the graphics is different and we have much more level of detail, the textures and everything, the trees, it just makes it completely different. I mean, the game, because you can hide behind a tree or hide in a bush, and there's just so much stuff on your screen, it's incredibly hard to see the enemies. On mobile, let's say it's more plain. You can easily spot the enemies, and you know, from a far distance, some of the elements are just not rendering, like the grass. On PC, even those areas where you don't have too much stuff, it's just harder to digest for your brain because of the textures and the level of detail. So I really want to highlight that don't just think about graphics like saying that it's more beautiful or looks better. It makes the game different. It alters how you are approaching an area because there's just simply more stuff you need to check. And you need to be having like an eagle eye to see enemies hiding in bushes or behind trees or whatever. And shadows, lights, blinking lamps and everything around that also falls into this category because there are certain areas like corners where you can hide and if an opponent comes, an enemy comes from the other direction, they are not gonna see you because they have light in front of them, which we again don't really have on mobile. I mean, we have that. If you enter a room, then it's like dark and it's getting bright, but PC is again different, it's harder. And the fifth final big difference between infinite and mobile version is controls. And of course it's different because on mobile you have a screen, on PC you have a keyboard and a mouse. But the way I mean that is that, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? On the mobile version, I don't often creep walk because the way the controls are being set up. Sometimes I do, but on PC, I feel like it's easier to creep walk. It's easier to sneak just because of the nature of the controls. So what I'm trying to say is that some of the things are easier on PC, whilst other things are easier on mobile. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I would love to hear your feedback if you have access to both mobile and PC. And this is absolutely not about getting used to my controls. It's more like that because of the layout of the controls, it's just easier to zoom or to creep walk or to take a medicine or whatever. So these are my main five differences. But before we close this, there's one thing I want to highlight. So even if you play on mobile and you have experience with FPS games, you're going to benefit from those on the PC version. Same applies if you have not played Arena Breakout Mobile and you played other FPS games on PC, whether it be Fortnite, Call of Duty, 
or whatever, you're going to benefit from those in Arena Breakout Infinite. But if you have PC experience, like you're a professional CSGO player, and you also played Arena Breakout Mobile, good stuff, but it's not going to guarantee your success in Arena Breakout Infinite. It's just hard. It's hardcore. But it's absolutely worth all the suffering you're going to have on the battlefield. Because this game is simply fun. It's very much enjoyable. And you're going to love that. So let me remind you. Like the video. Share it with your friends. And um, let me know in the comments section. If you are one of those who are not having an Arena Breakout Infinite Key yet. And you want one. Then let me know in the comments section. I cannot promise. But I'm going to do my very best. And as always. Happy looting, happy shooting, shoot, loot, subscribe, and have a nice day. JD out.